So guys, it's Jake with TN Tattle coming at you with a little bit of a different video today than what we typically do. Today we're actually going to do a disassembly and quick cleaning of the PSA Jackal. I think this is something that's kind of important to put out there because while it may not be as glamorous as some of our other videos, I haven't really seen too much content out there describing how to really break this thing down so that you can clean it properly. So that's what we're going to do today. Full disclosure, we are empty here. You'll see here. Oh yeah, I forgot I moved my charging handle here. We are empty, clear. Now, the Jackal does use a typical lower like you're used to. So I'm going to use this Allen wrench just to pop this pin out here. Like so. And while we're at it, we're just going to go and pop out this other pin down here. Usually it's a little bit easier to do that with your thumb to get started. And then we're just going to pop that out there. Lower is kind of like what you're typically used to there. You're going to be cleaning this out here. If you've got a bunch of dirt and residue and stuff here, you want to get all that cleaned out. Back here, I want to correct something from my previous videos. This right here is your actual point of impact. You can see where it's kind of imprinted around that circle there. That's where you actually want to make sure, just give the once over and look at, maybe clean it for a little bit. You just want to check that and make sure that you don't have any issues like cracking or anything breaking or getting worn out there. Of course, you can always clean up here too because that's where gas is blowing back and, well, you can see it there. So, go on, clean that out. Typical normal cleaning stuff there, nothing really new there. Now, the interesting part comes in when we talk about the upper. Oh, I got this cat here. Now, I haven't seen really too much out there about how to properly disassemble and clean the upper so they can keep running for you. So, I want to make that for you here today. Right here, you're going to see that little tab sticking out there take your thumb there's a cat you want to take your thumb push it down here and just pull down away from the top you got your spring there as far as the spring goes you want to make sure you just kind of wipe this down make sure you don't have too much GSR and all that good stuff on there check it for any worn out damage or anything for the most part should be good to go though you want to Get your bulk carrier group here. This is where a lot of your cleans can be taking place. So where this is a long stroke piston system, most of your cleaning is going to really take place up here. If I can get that to focus properly, you'll see there is a, a lot of carbon built up on that. That's where all that gas is just blown back and just covering that thing. So you really want to make sure you clean that tip. Always clean your tip, just like you're always taught. And all through this bolt here, Again, try to get the focus. This whole entire bolt needs to be properly cleaned. All through here as well, you'll see it's kind of caked on there. So there's a cat. i to get that to focus there. So you'll see all around here, especially where metal touches metal, like right here and stuff on these little ramps right there. You want to clean all this out really well. Just yeah, the rest of this, you want to give it a good wipe down everything. But right here in the front here, all that part, you really want to really pay attention to the rest of your bolt carrier here right here you've got that moving part very similar to what you've seen before down here you've got your firing pin and that thing is kind of hard to get out it's kind of buried in there you want to use a little tool like maybe like this little screwdriver i got here and kind of pull it out work it out it's a little hard to access but you got the same kind of pin there you've got your firing pin there it needs to be cleaned very nice. And then right here, you've got your, I don't know what you call that. Maybe I'll put the name down below, but you need to clean that. And that frees up this piece right here as well. So we're going to clean that here just real quickly and see if we can't put this thing back together here. Now, me being a man of culture, I am going to be using some nice protective gloves here let's well, be a reminder that it is very important to go talk to your doctor and ask yourself if you're due for a prostate exam anyways um now me being a man of culture i'm also going to be using some hops products here gonna really be using this as like my foaming cleaner to initially clean everything up and i'll be using some of this gun mat cleaner and lube to kind of finish things off I've got one of the first cleaning kits I've ever purchased, so we'll be using that today because it's been the old trusty reliable. Patches, lots of patches as well. So 
So, I'm going to start with this pin here. Let me get some patches out. I'm going to start with this pin here. Just give it a good old one silver wipe down. And then we're going to take some of this. Just give a little bit of that foam action there. If I can get some to come out. There we go. The foam's about done, but that's okay. It still serves a purpose. So the foam seems light, but you'll see it does a really great job with cleaning this off. There's that. This little pin you can just kind of wipe down there. This part here, get a little bit of that foaming action. Again, just kind of wipe it down really good. This little part doesn't take too much. Just clean that a little bit there. And this right here, she's going to be a little bit dirty. So we're going to really foam it up real good here. Start wiping it down. We're going to use quite a few of these patches here, I bet. I'm going to take like a copper brush like this to kind of just go through and break that up if you want. If you want to get really meticulous, you can go through each individual groove here and properly clean it and the cleaning i'm doing here is actually pretty universal you could probably apply these methods to really just about anything of this particular category that you're trying to clean so this is looking pretty good you'll see that i've actually got some shiny spots here where the mill has appeared to lose some of that black finish that's okay that's just part of breaking stuff in like this now, if I want to go out, I can go down here and clean this out. I'm not going to clean then that hole just yet. I don't really mind that. It's not a big deal. I'm just kind of doing a quick version of thorough cleaning here. Maybe even, maybe even go in this hole here and clean that out real quick. Now, this bolt right here is, this is extremely dirty. Kind of running low on the foam stuff, unfortunately. So I may not have enough to do at all, but I might have to switch to the other one earlier than I was expecting. Like this is, this is where you use a lot of patches. And we'll start with patches, see if I can get off of just patches, and then I'll use a brush to kind of go over it and get more of the thicker stuff off. It is just caked on there, all that carbon. I mean, is it the biggest deal that's caked on with carbon? No, it'll probably still be fine, still run just fine, but... I will like to try to get some of that off. Now you can also get you a tool like this. Kind of similar with these and deal offs just to get plaque off. And you can actually use that to try to scrape stuff off too. a lot better and all I did was just put some of this hops 9 stuff on and scrape it off it's coming right off you see there very nice if I can get this foam to come out I'm gonna just give them one more once over I think I gotta switch to this stuff now just kind of just wiping everything down make sure we're all kosher and good if I wanted to I could Scrape all this stuff here. If I really want to focus on getting it completely clean, I might do that real quick. Okay, that is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Just making sure, just wiping everything down. I mean, you can really go through with a brush and clean all this out. I'm not doing that right now just to kind of save time. I'm just kind of getting the major areas like right here. So right here, I'm kind of cleaning this out. Look at that. Look at all that stuff coming off there. You see that? You don't have to use like a Dremel or anything. I mean, I guess you can if it's really thick. But I'm just using a little bit of hand pressure in this tool. It's all coming off. 
again, this doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be, you want to try to get the most of it off, but you know, again, it does not have to be perfect. Uh, I mean, it's going to get dirty again. So that's pretty decent. Is it perfect? No, but I could spend hours just doing this. So now we want to go ahead and reassemble this. So first we're going to put our, first we're going to put this part in. Then we're going to place this in here. Now you put your pin in there. Okay. And you can do a quick check. You'll see it still does in fact come out. That's because we've got to put that tiny little clothespin style pin. And you put that back in there. Just push it on through. Giggity. And Make sure it's in all the way. I like to sit in kind of deep. I should be good to go. So that's all good to go. Looks like it's working correctly. So this part's done. Last thing we're gonna take care of is the gas block here. So we're gonna turn it to the fourth position there. I'll try to give you some lights so you can see there. There we go. So we're going to turn it to the fourth position. And you'll see you'll see there's an actual pin right there. A little detent pin, you see that? Right there. So it's gonna be hard to see because of you know camera angles and stuff, but I'm gonna push this pin down here with the screwdriver if I can. Okay. You'll see there I've got the pin partially covered with the plug, the plug there. We're just going to put it the rest of the way and then that's part one. On the side there, there's a tiny little detent pin there that you actually have to push in. I know it's blurry. I'm trying the best I can, but you'll see it's right there. And you've actually got just push in just a little bit. So it is right there. Got to push it in. There we go. So that's kind of hard to do on camera, but uh, hopefully you get the idea. We pull this out. And this part here, we just cleaned it so it doesn't really need to be cleaned again. But all this stuff here, you need to clean out. We noticed earlier that this pin, the one that we got out second, that little detent, actually got stuck and pushed in all the way. So you may have to put some oil down there. We used some uh, some Kroll, I think, and just got that freed up, pushed it in and out. So now it comes out. That's your detent for the four different positions that you can put that adjustable gas block in. So just clean all this out really well. We just did it earlier and put some oil on. It still looks kind of nasty, but it's fine. You know, it's going to get dirty again. And make sure your detent isn't stuck there. After that, you're just going to return this back to where it was, position four. Work that little detent back down. And then you'll be able to move that to the other positions again. Three, two... And one. So guys, I'm not going to clean the barrel at this time because we just did that earlier, but you get the idea. Put everything back in here. So. Put that in there. And... There's a hole that you put this spring in. It goes in like this. Push in and then up like that. So that holds in place there. Now one thing we didn't clean is we did not take out the sled or the charging handle at this time. Uh, rarely is that going to get too dirty. You may at the worst case just have to lube it up a little bit. Occasionally you can take that out too by just popping it out after you pop out your carrier. And you can clean that as well. But this time I chose not to do that because it's actually not too bad right now. And it's not going to get too dirty. So 
So from there, you just put back together this, these two here, put the pins in like this, and you are, quick function check, everything's good to go. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Remember, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Did this demonstration help you in any way with disassembling and cleaning your jackal? Love to hear from you. We will see you next time. Observe. We have a cat in a box. It takes up all the space.